Hi guys, my name is Hannah, and today I'm going to be doing my video project on a sport that is more popular in another country than the U.S. So today I chose to do volleyball. Um, if you guys didn't know, I do play volleyball um, collegiately. I've been playing for nine years now. And so I thought it'd be interesting to learn a little bit more about, you know, the history and how it kind of works into um, culture and like the team and stuff like that. And so I can tell you that um, Brazil does lead the world in volleyball. Um, USA does not fall very hard, far behind, but um, they have done extensive, you know, work, you know, perfecting their program throughout the years. They lead the Olympics in gold medals. And so they're very strong, um, you know, nationally with volleyball. And I thought it'd be interesting to learn about that and kind of tell you how it works and stuff. And so one of the main things that you know, we focus on kind of with volleyball is the team culture. And so um, one of the important things is kind of, you know, bonding with the girls. You know, I've never met most of them before. And so playing a sport that, you know, requires all six of us just to, you know, really pull all together and play together is, you know, a difficult thing to learn. And so um, I'm going to show you like a lot of videos and just keep going and explaining it to them. And so as I show you this video on team culture, you'll see um, the final play of our regional semifinal game this um, year. And we were playing our rivals, Macomb, and we were in the fifth set, it was really close. And you can kind of just see, um, you'll see in the video, like a lot of just like tense, nervous energy, like kind of from your guys' perspective, you don't really understand completely, but you'll see in the video, you know, our fans will be jumping up and down, our teammates, our coaches. It's just a super wild experience that you know, when you look at it, you see like, oh, wow, these girls are so like, you know, happy. They love each other. They love the game. And so you'll see that um, in this video. Okay, so you just watched the video on team culture that I had. And you can obviously tell a super exciting moment. You know, the fans are jumping up and down. Our coaches, our teammates were rushing the court. It's one of those, you know, moments that you only live once and that you only experience a couple times. And I can promise you, I remember the moment, you know, day in and day out, I could tell you exactly what happened, you know. And it's just one of those like founding like memories that just resides with you forever. Like it didn't matter if we were winning or losing, our, our teammates were there for us, we were there for each other, whether you're on the court or off, like a super, super, you know, thrilling moment for everyone. And so, we were moving on. It was really great to see. And not only looking from our perspective, but if you look at our teammates' perspective, they immediately didn't just go, oh, like we just lost, are you kidding me? They kind of still came in the middle. Like I'll give credit to them for, you know, still sticking together. You know, they just lost like their game, their season's over now, like it's super hard. But you know, as a team, they still came together and they still, you know, showed that, you know, whether we won or lost, like we're still here. You know, we're going to come back stronger next year. That kind of like mentality is super important with volleyball. And so now we're going to get into um, how the sport works and kind of all the nitty gritty stuff that you get to see with volleyball. And so whenever you're playing volleyball, it always starts off with serving. And so serving is a very, very crucial part of the game. Um, our coach, very, you know, she prioritizes a lot because it's the first contact um, aside from, you know, passing the ball. And so if you serve very aggressively, which you'll see in these next videos, I um, am demonstrating, you know, like my serving throughout the season. And if you serve and the other team can't, you know, receive, you immediately get a point, you know, you have to work for it. And so it's a very um, easy in a way um, to get points, but it's also really hard to master. And so you'll see here um, a couple of videos of me serving. Okay, so as you saw in those videos, I <clears throat> got an ace in both of those videos. So what that is, is a serve that you give to your team that they cannot receive past one touch. So um, the other team touched the ball, but it, you know, you hit the ground, it shanked kind of off their platform and way off into the stands or something. And so we get the point and the side out and we get to serve again. And so that's a very um, simple way to get points. You know, you get the job done at the service line, you know, our coach prioritizes that a lot. As I said, you know, she really encourages us to serve aggressively so that, you know, the other team can't just get an easy, you know, pass that hit and call it a day. 
So being super aggressive at the service line is important for the game. <clears throat> it also gives your teammates a kind of bit of a rest. You know, they don't have to work so hard. They get to breathe a little bit. And so on the opposite end of that, the next first contact would be serve receive. And so you, you lost a point, the other team is serving at you, now you have to prepare to receive the serve. And so <clears throat> this is something that it doesn't matter if you're in fifth grade starting out in little leagues or you're all the way up at you know the Olympic level, serve receive is not easy anywhere you go. It's a server's job to make it as difficult as possible on the serve receive so that they cannot just get an easy side out point. And as you can see in these videos, I mean, you don't really see me um, passing awfully. You'll see um, me controlling my pass. Um, that's one thing that's very important is that you stay kind of calm with your upper body and you use your legs and you just control where you want the ball to go. Um, and that is a super important you know, piece of the puzzle when it comes to servicey. Another thing is, um, keeping what we call our um, setters in system and later in the video you'll see me um, performing out of system and so in system means they get a perfect pass and the setters can just set their hitters and we go on about our day um, and so you want to keep that ball you know right where the setter is you know 10 foot line area so you'll see in the video um, that I kind of control where my pass is going right to my setter so that she can just you know set who she wants and get the job done. Okay, so as you saw from those videos, I was performing some serve receive passing and I controlled what I did needed to do. I passed the ball to my setter and she, you know, took care of it and my hitters took care of the job as well. And so, um, obviously I'm a passer, so you won't see a lot of videos of me um, attacking, but from the videos I show you, you will see how, you know, my teammates prepare to hit the ball. They see the court well, they can see where they need to hit the ball and kind of where the holes are. And so... One of the things that comes with blocking, or I'm sorry, comes with volleyball is blocking. And um, the other team is kind of just setting up to, you know, put four hands in front of your face and make it as hard as possible for you to hit the ball. And so a hitter's job is not easy by any um, means. It can be very difficult, but all starting with a good pass, it can make the whole process a lot easier. And so after, you know, you serve receive and after you serve and everything comes the defense. And so, um, when the other team is hitting at you, you know, there is a lot of different things that you need to be doing is watching where the setter is going with the ball. Um, if she's in the front row setting, she can dump the ball over the net, which means she just takes her hands and just sets the ball over without setting anybody. And it can be very tricky to defend that sometimes if a setter has really good hands and she doesn't show it very well. And on the other hand, she can be setting, you know, three hitters. She could be setting the back row. You never really know until you kind of just watch the setter. So that's the first um, step of defense is, you know, looking at the setter, seeing if her hips are kind of turned to one, or if she's gonna go somewhere. So it's a very, very, um, you know, mental game. You gotta, you know, watch and see things, you know, all about locations and stuff like that. And so you'll see in these videos, me um, defending some balls um, for um, the hitters that are hitting at me. Um, you'll see some of them are kind of like roll shot tips, some of them are hard driven hits, and it all just based on where the hitter is facing, if their you know, hips are turned towards me, if they're not. It's all kind of just like, um, you know, meticulous little game that we like to play, you know, if the setter, you know, is set in the outside, you have to be, you know, in your spot within milliseconds or else you're going to miss. And um, just, you know, being very um, solid on defense is super important because then again, you're passing the ball to your setter and your setter's starting your offense. And so, you know, without the defense and without all of like the control and the um, being where you're supposed to be and the hours and hours of practice, you know, we couldn't be a, a well-oiled machine like we are. So here are these videos. Okay, so you saw um, me doing some defense there. You saw me keeping my setter in system so she didn't have to move too much to set our um, hitters. She was kind of relaxed. It was an easy kind of thing. 
And so that's kind of how we keep the game, you know, in our control. And what we say, like, we control the pace of the game. And so what that means is if I'm getting, you know, an easy rule shot, I'm kind of just going to push my pass a little bit quicker to my setter so that my hitters go faster so that the other team doesn't have time to think and set up as well. And so you can get easy point off of that. You can tool their block, something easy like that. Um, and so controlling the, the pace of the game is super important when it comes to volleyball. You know, you want to be able to, um, you know, beat out your teammates or your opponents and so that your teammates have, you know, a better shot at, you know, putting the ball away, you know, being more aggressive, swinging hard. And so sometimes that doesn't always go our way and we have what's called out of system. So that can either be when the setter will take the first ball. So on defense, you know, maybe they hit towards the setter and she's taking the first ball. And that is when the five, which is the spot I play, it's a left back. As you see on the videos, I'm kind of on the left side of the court. Um, that's when I come in and I set the hitters. And so you'll see me um, staying always behind the 10 line because it is illegal for me to go into the front row and set the ball. And so I, you'll see me set with my hands and you'll see me um, set with my platform as well. And so I'll come in out of my spot, you know, take control of the ball, give them, you know, we try to give them a ball that's not, you know, super tight on the net so they have time to control it. But you also don't want it, you know, 10 feet off the net and they have to swing really high and wide. And so it's, a, it's an art at its best, you know, you have to practice at it and get better and better. And so you'll see some out of system work here. And Okay, so you saw that auto system work there. You saw um, me kind of controlling my passes, making sure that my teammates had a good ball to swing at. Um, it's it's really important when the you know you don't have your best setter out there. You know she can't take that second ball. That you know we also have to have good hands and good contacts and making sure that our offense is running smoothly. And so the last thing that we're going to talk about today is just um, you know volleyball um, as a sport. And so. Um, you know, it's gone all the way from the 1900s. It started as an Olympic sport in the 1960s, and it is grew from not just indoor volleyball, which was what I play, but you can play, you know, outdoor volleyball on the beach. You can play, you know, kind of a co-ed team. Um, and obviously, you know, there's men's and there's women's. And so all the way from, you know, what you play in high school and middle school all the way up to the Olympic level, it's a super wide sport that offers a ton of, you know, variability you know it's a definitely a growing sport um your you know position wise and teammates and stuff like that and so for not only american culture but for the brazilian culture is super important to their you know ideas and their beliefs that you know you know when they're playing volleyball they still um a lot of them will you'll see them kind of like kissing or like you know representing like a cross or something that represents their religion as you know they are a very you know, religious country and they um, prove that. And so some, so they still pull their ideal culture about their values and their beliefs and their norms into the sport, which is super cool that, you know, even at a, a high Olympic level, they can still, you know, not let it kind of change what they believe and stuff like that. They still, um, you know, stick to what they um, know and what they grew up as and, and everything. So I hope you guys like this video on the culture and volleyball and the sport is Olympic. So thank you.